Let's do this. Round two of this spectacular. Freed and sealed. Here we go. What I like to play first. Yeah, I'd say so. <clears throat> and this does not seem malignable. Um, the only question here in my mind, oh, we should wish our opponent good luck, um, is when we crack this, do we search for a planes for the Winged Steed Rider or do we search for a green for the time to feed? I think if we do not draw planes, that is the answer because the time to feed does nothing without a creature in play. So um, hopefully our opponent shows up soon. Okay, let's lead off with a planes and uh, traveler's name. Really? F6 to pass the turn. F6 on their turn as well. Ooh, now we're presented with an interesting dilemma. It's not really a dilemma. We're just playing this guy. Um, worst comes to worst, we're searching for planes next turn. Well, maybe at this point a forest would be correct. Let's we'll see what happens. Interesting. Okay, so I'm going to search for a forest. Planes is the most likely draw. So I'm going to assume I hit a planes eventually. At this point, I'm going to run this guy out. And just pass it. I'm going to assume that the Battlewise Hoplite can just do as much with time to feed as Wingsteed Rider could. And Wingsteed Rider is less of a goal now than Elspeth is. So. I'm, I'm I'm fairly certain that we will draw, like by the time we hit six mana, we should have that second planes, or at least um, the land that allows us to make a white if we have one extra mana. Opponent is kind of taking a long time to do stuff here. I'm not sure why, but let's take this time to take a drink. Mmm, yum. Having, having a beverage by, oh god, I just punched the microphone. Having a be beverage nearby is uh, a good thing. It's important to stay hydrated. Well, make sure it's the right beverage. I am not going to attack there. 2-1 um, vanilla is not as good as my 2-2 two -two that does everything that I want it to do. Um, on the other hand, oh god, I had to draw a forest. I don't want them to bounce our guy. They're kind of a little concerned here. What could they have? Let's get in with the sun guide. I don't I don't mind losing the sun guide to the 2 1. And if he doesn't block, he just takes it, does nothing, whatever then at that point um, I'm just happy gaining life so we'll see what happens and again this is just me um, erring on the side of caution rather than um, saying no they don't have they don't have a thing they don't have a thing like I just I want to respect the fact that they have mana open to do stuff with us for a little bit. I'd say this is an okay time to bounce their creature and feed on their other guy. So I'm comfortable doing that. And let's just get milled right out. Mill really like they are probably not on a legitimate mill strategy. Divination on top. Seems fine. Now, I'll add, do I divination? Hmm, that's a good question. Do I time to feed first or divination first? I 
I do have quite a few things that activate heroic. I can't really remember how many things that are cheap activate heroic. I'm just gonna do this. Oh, what am I doing? Wait, select target. Yeah, my opponent's creature fights this. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh boy, yeah. And we get to scry again off this. Oh boy. That's exciting. I'm gonna leave that on top as well. Um, we'll draw that for the next turn and then divination. So right now we get to slap them for five. We've scryed an awesome card to the top. We'll see what happens after that. I don't think there would be a reason to leave up green after I cast Divination. Oh, right, he gets to mill me. That was silly of me to leave that on top. Well, it's not really a big deal, though. Nessie and Asp is nothing. Let's leave planes up. I imagine that's the best. Man, just drawing into no land here. So... I suppose I'll just F6. Watch him, him or her. Wait, the Godfather? Well, him. Ooh, that's good. Wolf. Let's throw this out. It's a spirit, just a spirit. Yeah. Well. The alternative is the wolf by itself. I think this does a lot more. I don't mind if they get aggressive with their keepsake Gorgon. Um, what this allows me to do is bestow the wolf next turn on that potentially. And potentially the turn after that I can bestow the Ghostblade Edelon and just end it. Or play Elspeth. But that's maybe a card that I want to... Oh, man. That's bad. So at this point, I need to get a creature off the table. <sighs> it's horrible, man. Yeah, four, then nine, then five. I'm dead. Had to be that. Bottom, I guess. I didn't really understand that there was going to be a mill theme. A lot of times people play this card without um, <laughs> spellcraft. Five and five. I'm, I'm still alive, but I have to kill them next turn though. So this is this is craziness. Well, it's tap an untapped creature. Oh no, the creatures have the ability tap. So they would have to have haste. So I have, I have one turn unless they mill me out with something else. What is this? Monstrosity killing my guy. Right, that ability, okay. How do I kill them? Oh, I can't, they just went to all right, well, God, I am just like a step behind here. A null seems fine for that. They played two enchantments, so I actually really like a null. I don't think Triton Tactics is going to be as useful. Could still be useful, but I don't see them racing me. I do see them milling me. Well, they're racing me with mill, I suppose, but... keep their stuff tapped. Now, do I have any shooting winds, commune with the gods? I don't have any destruction really for... Oh yeah, I do. I'm stupid. Revolve existence. I actually kind of like that over a null. 
Do I? Maybe I do. Yeah, I do. Let's do this. And I'm fine with that. Let's submit it. Yes, again. Okay, no Morgan. It seems okay. It's not the best, but it's okay. Uh, lead with planes and play the Traveler's Amulet. Yeah, a few things went unlucky the last game, though. I'm unsure if I could have done anything to get out of that. Oh, well, that was, that was a good draw, since now we absolutely know what we're getting with this. Let's go get a forest. This just conceals information in our hand by searching for it and playing the land that we find. for Tech Godfather. Okay, let's wait for them. Move the microphone slightly. I don't know if that's going to help. I feel like I'm breathing into it, but play that forest and pass the turn. Okay. This, that's fine. Let's play this guy out. We don't really have anything reasonable to do with anything else. It's pretty, it's a pretty card. Let's play this island. Voyage's End is the only instant speed anything that we have to do. Probably gonna give our creature minus one, minus one. What would they do that after blocks? Not blocking. Interesting. Yep. I guess they're playing around any tricks that I might have. have an artisan of forms. Interesting. I don't know if I feel comfortable attacking in. I do feel comfortable with that draw though. Oops, cancel. And then I'll just pass it. And they will just have infinite of this card. Not sure if that's right. Kind of wanted to leave a Voyages in there, but at the same time, this is just a huge creature. And if they do not catch on to, well, no, all right. So they can force this to attack, but then this has first strike and takes out whatever it wants. So I'm really comfortable with making this attack. They're doing something. Voyages end, okay. They had it the whole time. Yeah, that's fine. I'm better with that than them like destroying my whole team. Which they can they can take out one guy at a time, certainly. Unless they play this. If 
Phoenix? No, it's not Phoenix. Okay. Well, that's fine. Um, next turn they're threatening to maybe pull that off. So what do I want to do here? Let's play this Voyage's End on their guy. God, I don't know if I want to do this yet. My assumption is that they're going to want to take the turn. Ugh. I'll play the Shores too. I mean, it leaves up more things to bluff. God, I really don't want them to make this into uh, that guy. Making sure nothing's a enchantment. I think it's maybe better to Voyage's End now. I get in with these two. <sighs> this is really tough. I'm I'm really unsure what the play here is. I would really like to get value and let them like attempt a monstrosity there. Yeah, I, t <laughs> I forgot what I was drawing. I would like to get value and have them attempt a monstrosity and they could have. They're just gonna play it out again. That's fine. But, um, yeah, I'm opting to go with the play that gains me some card advantage here. Might force me to attack. Let's draw some cards, see if we can get anything exciting. Two, three. Probably going to force me to attack with this. I'm hoping to get some sort of thing. Some sort of thing. Mm, that's rough. So... Let's see what they want me to do here. Begin combat. Forcing my archetype to attack. Okay. I suppose I'll just let that happen. Well, I like attacking with the Wingsteed Rider as well. They can't kill the Wingsteed Rider at this point, so. I don't feel that there's a reason not to. Yeah, first strike. This is a rough situation. They have a billion shipwreck singers. I wish they would play an enchantment. I'd like to revoke existence something. Oh god. I should stop playing lands as I get them. It was kind of just a knee-jerk reaction to drawing a spell. Yeah, this is rough, man. At this point, they kind of have my creatures just dead. Oh, they're letting me decide. I'm not gonna, thanks. They could have forced me to attack what they're going to do is use this ability. That's, I feel, risky for them. But um, they're going to use that ability and um, take out a thing of mine. 
instead of taking out everything of mine, they're going to take out a thing of mine. They literally could have, they could have forced every single thing to attack and then given it all minus one, minus one, killing everything that I have. I guess that's maybe a more risky play, but I guess they're just saving that play for now. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and scoop. This is pretty bad. Ah. <sighs> Okay, well, we'll do better in round three. I'm sure of it. I'm sure of it.